If you clicked on this video, the odds are you know the currently ongoing series is literally called Das Finale. However, many Gup fans want more after the series concludes, and whether or not this is within our own best interest is a discussion I would like to delve into. Now, do not get me wrong, so far everything released has been high quality, well minus that Ova, but the longer we allow the series to live is the more we run the risk of Gup getting milk for profits like Star Wars currently is. No one wants Gup to become bad, but if we don't tread carefully with our desires now, it could happen. As it stands, we have 4 out of the 6 of the Das Finale series released, and all of them have been widely loved amongst fans, or at least among the English fans, I'm not too sure about the Japanese ones, but if the momentum we have now continues, then we can rest easy knowing we'll have a phenomenal finale to the finale. <laughs> If this happens, we'll see our series go out on a high note. All too common is it that a series will push its luck and begin to get burnt out and piss off its fans along the way. It will always be better to end with people's celebrations and tears of joy than suffer through whatever Marvel fans currently are. Not to mention as well, no matter what, this will be the end of ORI story. Many of the characters will be graduating and moving on with their fictitious lives, but Maybe the end of ORI's story doesn't have to be the end of the Gup Universe's story. This isn't Hollywood after all, and the fans themselves have a lot of ideas for how to continue the story beyond Das Finale. One of the more popular ideas is to follow Miho and the gang into University. We already got a glimpse of the University level Sencha Do with Alice and Dehun but a lot of the details are still up in the air. Following Miho and her friends into a more competitive, mature, and well-funded Sencha Do could open the doors for many new possibilities on what can occur during a match. On the other end of the spectrum, however, are unregulated and illegal tankathons. Ribbon Warrior is a spin-off series that is very popular amongst fans, and the demand to animate it is very high. Essentially, these tankathons have no rules whatsoever, and hell, within the first chapter of there are literally already spectators about to be ran over. This loose set of rules coupled with the 10 ton weight limit would take any future animated series to a whole other level for us to enjoy. Its themes and tones, however, deviate quite heavily from the original series, and that can be extremely jarring and even alienating to certain fans, myself included. What is a touch more in line with the series, however, is the saga of Pravda. This manga series follows Katusha and Nona's rise to power throughout their first years of high school, and they were extremely talented right from the get-go. Of course, Katusha still beats the living hell out of three overly confident Pravda girls on her literal first day, and I struggle to see how this would do that. But what do I know? Seeing Katusha's origins as a fan favorite of the series would be rewarding to watch for a lot of people, but it does have one major problem. Namely, why would you not do this for all the other commanders? There's lots of love for Darjeeling, Mika, Maho, Anchovy, etc. So animating specifically Katusha's story would probably cause more trouble than it's worth which leads me to think this may be better off remaining a spin-off. What is, however, way more feasible and will give some level of appeal to most fans is this. After Das Finale concludes, Actus should release a short series of OVAs dedicated to every school, even the minor ones, and follow them at their day-to-day -day lives and activities. Admittedly, this is my idea, so maybe that's why it's good, but I think that's honestly the best conclusion to the series we could have. Unless it's ORI, we don't really know what goes on much outside of the matches, and I think this gesture would appease every fan and give even the little teams a chance to shine. However, if we have to stick with spin-offs, I actually do think MLLSD would be the most fun to animate. If you don't know, MLLSD is a manga series that puts the characters in funny and even outrageous scenarios. My personal favorite is the one Mari fighting like hell to avoid the dentist for those cavities she's surely forming. If this was animated, it'd basically be like if Gup had its own version of Carnival Phantasm, and having that in animated form would just be charming. Oh, but of course, people like action, so we should just do Girls on Black Powder. 